Hello, how are you? Oh goodness, I'm so excited. Let us dive right in. All right. Hello, hello. The first time in webinar mode. We'll see how the technology gets along with us today. Welcome ladies to this advanced business training. How to get unstuck and beyond 250K, like breakthrough towards seven figures. Now, I know that there's gonna be people here who are exactly who this was designed for, and I'm gonna go through that in just a moment, but I know there are some others that may think, golly, if I could just get to 250. Let me tell you something. What you learn here today may be a bit beyond you, but as I always say, when you come to a training, come with intention. Like, get what you came for, right? If you want to learn about marketing, then keep your ears peeled for what I'm gonna say about marketing. If you're excited to learn about sales, oh, you're in for it, it's gonna be good, right? If your issue is mindset, whatever it is, set your intention and get what you came for because it is your responsibility. You're 100% responsible for everything that happens, right? So take what you need from this training but I'm just so excited. Okay, while everybody's jumping on, I wanna give you a rundown on the training today, what to expect. I'll tell you a little bit about me, for those of you that don't know, and then we're gonna dive in. Are you ready? <laughs> Listen, I know you, sister. You are a super ambitious, high achiever with big, big dreams. You love the Lord Jesus Christ, and you feel like, in your business, you've hit a wall. You're working too many hours, you're tired. And I know that you're doing things that you really don't want to do, right? Because you, in part, you think you need to do them, <laughs> right? We're going to talk about that. You love serving your clients, but you hate sales. There, I've said it. I know some of you think it, so I've said it, okay? If that is you, this training was tailor-made for you. Because I also know that you want to scale your business, but you think that doing that would require even more of your time. And that would add to the overwhelm you're already feeling. And you're thinking that it means you have to hire a big team. Lots of moving parts, right? Well, my dear, I've got great news for you. None of that is required. <laughs> None. In fact, my joyful scaling method actually means you're going to work less. We're going to simplify your offers. You're going to have a lean and mean team. That's what I have, where each team member on board helps to drive revenue and that means putting more money in your bank account like that's their responsibility under your guidance right and you're going to do business with simplicity and joy when you follow the joyful scaling method listen if that sounds like too good to be true stay tuned that's what this training is all about and you can take the principles that i'm going to teach you today Make those right tweaks in your business and start to see some real headway. And, and this is the beautiful thing, have joy in the doing. Because you're gonna have your focus on the one who made it all possible, the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, right? Because your business is not merely faith-based, but it's faith-fueled, faith-fueled. Meaning that your faith in Christ motivates empowers and in fact fuels everything that you're doing inside your business okay i'm gonna start with a crazy fact here we're gonna come right out of the gate rolling right you can get a million dollars in annual revenue with just one offer yep it's true see I'm coming right out of the gate with this crazy fact which is a thousand percent true because I want to set the pace for my underlying approach to business and life really and you see it there pursue the impossible so maybe a million dollars in revenue sounds like a pipe dream to you right now it may sound impossible <laughs> but let's remember ladies we are christians right nothing is impossible for our great god and by the way you're awesome at what you do right and you provide a transformation that is truly life-changing and or business changing for your clients. And the ripple effect goes on, right? High value. And that means high value investment 
That's nothing to be um, to to run from or to hes- be hesitant about at all. What I want to put out there for you, ladies, is maybe, just maybe, God has bigger plans for your business than you may be able to fathom right now with your mind where it is right now. Okay, and that's okay. But let's do some math here, ladies, together now. I will say I'm generally not a numbers person, but when it comes to business, I know what I need to know, and so do you, okay? So how can you get to a million dollars with one offer? Okay, well, if you have a $40,000 offer, you only need 25 clients. Beautiful thing, right? What is that? Like two a month that you're bringing on? That's totally doable, right? Or if you have a 10K offer, and I imagine many of you do, you only need 100 clients. That's like two a week. Totally doable. Let's go back to the 40K offer. Look at what you have to do if you have a 4K offer. Add a zero to the 25. You need 250 clients. So that means you need thousands and thousands of leads. Now, when you look at that, does are you beginning to see that it's doable to get to seven figures? Only 1% of women ever hit the seven figure mark. And really I'm on mission to change that and up level the way Christian women do business. No more playing small, no more, you know, guilt around money, anything like that. God gifted you and my mama taught me ever since I was a little girl, where much is given, much is expected. I wanna open your mind to the possibility that this is doable for you if you're an expert, right? So if you don't believe it right now, and if you can't see it, I wanna offer, borrow my belief, okay? Borrow my belief. All right, in this advanced training, here's what we're gonna cover. First, identifying the seven mistakes that I see way too many smart, go-getter Christian women like you are doing that's keeping you stuck. As you listen, keep track of which of these mistakes you may be making, right? And no shame, no guilt here, ladies. I'm gonna blow your mind with one more concept, okay? I hope you're taking notes. Making mistakes is the best thing that you can do as an entrepreneur. So long as you learn from it, that's what allows you to grow. So that was so important, I wanna say it again. Because I know some of you really need to hear this. You're so afraid of making a mistake. You're so afraid of what other people are gonna say. You're so afraid, Uh uh-uh. Making mistakes is the best thing you can do to grow and scale your business so long as you learn from your mistakes. So if you are not stretching yourself, doing new things, making mistakes, now some might call those fails. I don't. (laughs) I call it playing safe. I call it playing small. I want to encourage you, sister. You got to let go. You got to let God. We're going to walk our faith, okay? We're going to do that scary thing that you've been wanting to do for so long. I know it's, I know you have it. Don't let fear stop you. Fear is of the enemy. I never want him to win. Faith is of the Lord God Almighty. Can I get an amen on that, right? So make mistakes every day. That's okay. That's what we should be doing, okay? Now, after I lay out the mistakes, we're going to talk about exactly what you need to do differently to experience breakthrough. Okay, to get unstuck past your current revenue and impact ceiling. Because if your revenue is capped and you can't, you know, get more clients, that means your impact is capped. And I want us to break through that. Okay. Now, did you know on this idea of breakthrough, did you know that you can experience breakthrough on the regular? Like daily? Breakthrough. I love to teach my clients about this. Open your mind and your heart to these crazy good concepts that I'm going to be dropping all throughout the training today. Okay. Open your heart and mind to possibility because there's nothing standing between you and the business you want except you. Okay. And maybe God's waiting for you to take that small step of faith to move forward and do the scary thing. And when you do, he's going to move mightily. I've seen it happen for myself and for others, okay? Because look, we're doing the Lord's work. And where the Lord is involved, miracles happen, right? All right, so we're also gonna cover 
mindset shifts that you need to make to reach that next level, whatever that is for you. Okay. We're going to talk about CEO skill sets and characteristics that you must embody and all of which are biblical. Love, love, love that. And finally, I'll explain what a faith fueled business looks like. Faith based is great. Faith fueled is ideal, right? And then I'm going to open up to questions. And for those of you who came wanting to know more about my Joyful Scaling Mastermind, I'm also going to tell you about that. I would expect to be here about 90 minutes or so. I'm going to stay as long as I can so that I can answer all of your questions because I want to make sure you leave here feeling great that this was valuably valuable time and well spent. Okay. You're going to leave with a workable plan. If you're listening and taking notes and paying attention around what to do differently, where you should spend your time where you shouldn't okay and getting clarity around what it really takes to scale your business even towards seven figures all right so for those of you who are new to me i want to tell you a little bit, a bit about who i am my experience my education my way of doing things and why you should care like why that matters to you and then we're going to jump into today's training hello there i am judy weber and i teach high achieving super ambitious christian women like you how to grow and scale their business with simplicity and always in the joy of the Lord. At the age of 22, I was a manager for a major retailer responsible for a multi-million dollar department, managing a team of employees, all at the tender age of 22. <laughs> Shortly after I entered law school, a couple of years later, I practiced as a trial attorney in Philly. It's a tough venue, but I loved it. And I specialized in medical malpractice defense, very involved work, right? I had to know the medicine in order to represent my clients, right? My work in court at the end of the day was all about persuasion. It was all about sales. So years later, when I had three little boys, I had left the practice of law. And when they turned two, four and almost seven, I launched my first business that was back in 2003 and I was super, super strategic in my marketing right out of the gate. Right? So after one event, I was an interior decorator and I attended a home show, a local home show. And over that two and a half day period, I booked 14 appointments with clients and I got 10 of them to actually be my client from one event. Yeah, I know how to generate business, right? <laughs> I later returned to the private practice of law. I had gone through a divorce. And in the meantime, I'd gotten my real estate license. So I was selling real estate part-time and I was a full-time trial attorney. Fast forward to 2015, I got remarried and I got the amazing opportunity to go in-house. So I was in the C-suite serving as general counsel and HR director. And in that position, I was third in command of a, a big company you know, $33 million a year, uh, overseeing a thousand employees that were all over the world. But in 2017, I decided to leave that high paying, really awesome job because I wanted to focus all of my time, all of my energy on my coaching and consulting practice. Now understand that I had been coaching entrepreneurs informally before that on the side for many years. So for me, from retail management to the law, to corporate, to serial entrepreneurship. Okay, all of my work experience allowed me to hone high level thinking, strategic thinking skills and become astute in innovative problem solving. I love problem solving. It's so fun. There is not a problem that comes um, in, the, in the way of my business that I don't get excited about fixing because I know it's fixable and I want you to get that too. I'm also a sales expert and I'm compassionate an effective teacher. I try to be right. I've been told that. All right. So when I started my coaching practice, I took all of that knowledge, all of that education and experience. And I sat with the Lord and I asked him for his wisdom because I wanted to curate a methodology to grow and scale business from a decidedly biblical perspective. I, you know, through the line in the sand. So faith and simplicity are hallmarks of my business and it is infused in everything that I teach my clients. I have been featured in on ABC TV um, and in online and print publications. You see a few there, including Forbes. I'm an award-winning coach, top 100 industry influencer, having helped thousands of women through the years. But the thing of which I'm most proud when it comes to my business is what I'm doing right now, helping my clients take the success that they've already built, 
right? You are at six figures, maybe multi-six, or if you're not quite at six figures, you're almost there. And then helping you to exponentially grow your influence, your impact, and your income. While, here's the, here's the real big difference in what I do, all of that while growing in your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And so with that experience, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know, right? Uh, everything, I need, everything I know to be true about the fastest, most sustainable way to bust through your current stuck point, right? Which tends to be around the 2250 mark. I wanna help you make more money in a way that brings glory to the Lord creating a business that is a true joy to run. My strategies are proven to work across all industries, including real estate, business and life coaching, financial services, law firms, expert consulting, and more. Okay, so let's start with making sure you're in the right room, okay? This training is for you if you love the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything I do, strategy and mindset, have at their foundation, Jesus. Let me just say this. When it comes to business, besides your expertise, that you already bring to the table. There's two pieces to successful business. It comes down to strategy and mindset. And a lot of programs out there, they don't combine the two. I very much combine the two because you can't have one without the other. If you have strategy and your mindset right, it's not gonna work. If you have mindset, but you don't know what to do with it, that's not gonna work. So the strategy and the mindset piece, they are huge. Okay, second, you are an established, seasoned business owner, right? Making at least 100K or very close to it. And you've always had big dreams. And more than dreams, you're an action taker, okay? And, and really, I know this because this was me, okay? The kind of woman that goes after it. I know that's you. In fact, you work too hard, too many hours at this point. And you wanna do business in a way that allows you that time freedom that, that you wanted when you started this business, right? Freedom to do the things you wanna do and be with the people that really matter. And I know you need more qualified leads so that you get more consults with the right people and you want higher conversion rates. But, but here's where the rubber meets the road. You want the higher conversion rates on your consults, but a lot of you hate sales and you run from it. Hmm, maybe there's an issue there. All right, stay tuned. You also would love your dream team I'm not sure how to get there, right? And you know you need systems and automation. Okay, well here's what I found after co coaching so many successful female founders like you. First, you're scattered, or you've got the wrong focus. Lots of great ideas. So you have a bunch of projects that remain undone, like sitting on the shelf for weeks, months, sometimes years, right? There's no detailed step-by-step -step plan to get any of them done, which causes you stress, whether you realize that or not. Right? You're looking at this monumental Herculean task, like maybe writing a book or starting a podcast. I really wanna do it. But you haven't set out the plan. You haven't taken the time to do that. I get you, you're okay. Stay here. <laughs> you're also doing too much of the things that should be delegated. Hiring for you may be an issue, right? Let me tell you, a six figure plus business cannot grow without a team. It, it can't grow to a million bucks on a, on a one woman team. And if that's possible, by the end, you're gonna be burned out big time, okay? Now, that does not mean that you need to hire this massive team. I'm a lean and mean business myself. But I know for many, hiring causes stress, like when to hire, who to hire, how to hire. But trust me, it's totally doable, okay? Another result is not doing enough CEO work. That's the strategic thinking. That's the high level problem solving. Mastering CEO skill sets like long term planning, management, and leadership, to name just a few, right? Also, the visibility piece and the PR piece, establishing your authority. That's on you to be seen, right? That's CEO work. Also, you're not, you don't have a standout brand. There's no clear philosophy or message coming from you. There's too much copy and paste, really. There's, there's no uniqueness to your brand, even though God put a unique fingerprint on you with unique combination of experience, education, and innate ability. But we gotta bring that out. A lot of you don't have that. You also don't have a unique methodology or intellectual property. Again, you, you do what you do, but you haven't formalized it into something that's truly valuable and could be sold down the road, right? 
You also have no time. You're constantly playing catch up. You're like, oh my gosh, where's the time? Where's the time? How's it, how's it, how's it already five o'clock and I still have this long list of things to do. By the way, throw out your to-do list, but that's another talk. All right, and finally, you're playing small. And let me tell you, limited risk, because I'm playing it small, will mean limited reward. Maybe that's where you're blocked, okay? You're hesitating to invest where you belong or where you should be, like, like maybe hiring, right? You're putting off pitching yourself for podcasts or even a TV spot. You're like, ah, oh, they, they wouldn't want me anyway. Stop it, stop playing small. Stop letting the enemy win with your thoughts, right? When it comes to marketing, you're listening to too many voices. You're looking at what others are doing and in many cases, you're kind of copy and pasting. Your marketing looks like everybody else, right? Now, we know the importance of going big, of standing in your strength and power, because God gave you a, a spirit of, of power, not of fear. So all of this matters and it applies, whether you're a lawyer or an agency owner, whether you're a real estate agent or a real estate broker, whether you're an ops specialist or an accountant, whether you're an interior designer or a web designer. So you'll wanna stay till the end for a live Q&A. Feel free to type your questions inside the Q&A box here. I won't be looking at them until the end, but feel free to add any question you like and I'll answer as many as I can. But first, before we dive into the meat of our time together, let's go to God and invite him in to our time. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you that technology is here such that we can be together, literally from around the world. Hundreds of women signed up for this. I just pray that, that a great number of them came because this is only live, Lord. This is something that you put on my heart to give to others, to help them to understand you know, how simple growing and scaling business can be when we really go to you and look to you as our CEO, truly, and look to you as our primary strategist and so on, God. So I pray that you will take over, like, like I'm your vessel, God. And I pray that the spirit will move me to say something if it's not on script, so to speak, and uh, just let your will be done here. And I pray that each of the women listening and watching right now will receive a good word directly from you. We love you, God, we trust you. Help us to love and trust you more. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. All right. Let's talk about the seven mistakes too many smart women make. Now, I went into some detail about each of these mistakes back in episode 265 of my Joyful Scaling podcast. If you are writing this down, you can find all of my episodes on my website, joy, uh, now I'm like, what is it? Okay, judyweber.co slash podcast, judyweber.co slash podcast. You'll see uh, all of my episodes there. I encourage you to go back and listen if you haven't already done so. But for purposes of today's training, just a review of them is gonna set the stage for what you need to do differently for the results that you want. So mistake number one, you don't know your numbers. What numbers? What do I need to know, right? That may be what some of you are thinking when I, when I say you don't know your numbers. Number two, you have too many offers. You have a suite of offers at various price points, low and high. And let me tell you something, that only confuses your clients. They're thinking, hmm, who is your client? The $47 like newbie or like the $40,000 all in, you know, entrepreneur? Like, like, who are you really for? What are you really about, right? That's a big mistake. Plus the complication for yourself on the back end, it's just not good. All right, mistake number three, you lack brand clarity. You're, you, wanna, you wanna be for everybody. And so you have strong convictions and a strong message, but you're not putting it out there, right? And maybe when it comes to your message, you may be a little bit foggy as to even what your unique message is. Like, what do you stand for? What are you all about? What do you not tolerate? All that helps to bring clarity to your brand. Mistake number four is underpricing your services. You do not charge by the hour. Please do not charge by the hour. You will never scale when you trade time for money. You just can't. Now, pricing, I will admit from where I sit, pricing is an art and a science. But it goes back to being very clear about the lifetime value of the results, the transformation that you provide. That's where pricing is really 
that that that's that's where you go in order to price it right okay mistake number five you're doing way too much yourself you either have no team or you have a team uh, and some of you that have a team you're micromanaging because you don't trust them nobody can do it like you right so think about it what are you doing right now that you should simply not be doing as the CEO hmm think about that be honest with yourself on that okay mistake number six there's a lack of internal systems and processes now this is a biggie right I know this most ladies I meet we just like me we're creative we're passionate we're visionaries okay we're people people <laughs> not numbers people okay you hear the word system and you're like what like you kind of get it but then you think if someone else could just come into my business and set it up I'd be golden but the thought of actually creating a system can feel overwhelming in and of itself okay I gotcha I was there all right and mistake number seven is you need a stronger faith in Christ because let me tell you the number one success metric to get to seven figures and have real impact in your business is faith now for us it's faith in Christ which is beautiful because we have substance in him he is real other people are doing great because they have faith and belief but their faith and belief is in the universe or some nonsense but their belief is so firm their faith is so solid and that's why they're thriving kind of makes you crazy right that they're believing in nothing but it's working that's how important faith is that's why I say it's the number one success metric but we as Christians we can believe that what we're doing is your life's work it's your calling by God right and so we can rely on God's exceedingly great and precious promises that's the very foundation of our business right so when you look at this list how many mistakes are you making all right now listen I want to strengthen your brain today I don't want you to simply rely on mine by the way did you know that your brain right here is your most valuable asset in business and in life okay and this problem solving skill is vital to be a CEO so here are the mistakes I want you to ask yourself why why is it a mistake to underprice why is it a mistake to have too many offers why is it a mistake to do too much myself okay in other words like what's missing that's causing these seven mistakes well here it is these three things strategy systems and simplicity okay let's get specific as far as a lack of strategy you're doing things willy-nilly ah, today I'm gonna try this next week I'm gonna try that I'm not really tracking anything I'm just kind of going with the flow nothing planned out ahead of time or maybe some things are planned out a little bit here and there but there's no comprehensive strategy like a marketing strategy right how brand and your words impact your content and how you serve right that's the what and where you're visible and why it's important to be there and how to leverage everything that you and your team are doing that strategy if you don't have that wow there is money just seeping through your fingers all right second thing lack of systems gulp <laughs> as I said a lot of women cringe at the word systems and because their beliefs their thoughts around that word they don't have a system around lead gen they don't have a sales system etc right I don't want a system I don't know what it means I'm doing just fine thank you very much that's keeping you stuck trust me and finally a lack of simplicity you're overcomplicating everything now I know you're not intending to nobody wants to overcomplicate their life but as an example when you have a bunch of offers at many price points you're speaking to a bunch of different audiences different price points different payment plans launching and promoting different things all the time and that's built in complexity not to mention mass confusion for your audience right they don't know what the heck's going on but it's really more basic than that okay it's like like those are the three things a lack of strategy systems and simplicity but it, but it's even more basic than that I hope you're taking notes okay the root cause of each and every one of those mistakes is right here in your own mind it's your thoughts wow did that answer seem to come out of left field 
This is so vital. And I finally got this in the last year. And it has made every difference in my life, in my business. The power of our thoughts. There's a battle in our minds going on, okay? Now take a look at some of these thoughts. How many do you have on a daily basis, right? I wanna emphasize, these are just thoughts. None of them are necessarily true, right? But here's where the power of belief comes in. If you believe that these thoughts are true, then they will be true for you. It comes down to your belief about them. So as an example, I'm not worthy. If you really believe that and keep feeding your mind, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy, whether you know it or not, your brain is going to work to sabotage you. If you have this thought, I hate sales, sales is ugly, sales is mean, sales is yucky, I don't want any part of it, well, well, then you're telling your brain sales is yucky. So, so even when you watch a sales uh, training, even when you read the books, if the overwhelming thought is I hate sales, you're gonna be stuck. So we gotta do something about this, right? But what if we could control our thoughts? and direct our thoughts where we want them to go. I call that managing your mind. Well, in fact, that's exactly what we're told to do by our God, right? Hold every thought captive in obedience to Christ. And scripture tells us as we think, so we are. So the fact is we can control our thoughts and that's a huge hallelujah. Thank you, God. He gave us choice. He gave us the ability to think, and I don't just mean think positive, I'm thinking, I'm talking about spending time thinking about things that are going to move you forward, your life, your business, your family, your relationship with the Lord, all of it. Philippians 4, 8 tells us exactly what to think about. And, and none of those other thoughts that are bad, I hate sales, I'm unworthy, I don't know, I don't know how, I mean, all that is crap from the enemy. All of those are lies, every single one. Okay, but we can control our thoughts, meaning we get to choose the belief. Well, let's say this, the thought that comes into our mind, we get to choose whether we believe it. If it serves us, great, that's good. But if it doesn't serve us, like I'm not worthy, I don't know, I can't, then we can choose to not believe it. That's the power we have by God's grace as humans, we get to choose. So from here on out, ladies, never again give in to that negative thought and accept it. Call it out instead for what it is. It is a lie of the enemy. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't let him win. Call it out, reject it, and refuse to believe it. And then think a thought that's right, right? Go to scripture, speak truth into yourself, right? That is how we, you know, become transformed by the word of God, right? Because you see, your thoughts come from your beliefs, your perspective on the world and on your circumstances. And your beliefs are grounded in your faith. So in that way, mistake number seven, you know, needing a stronger faith is the linchpin for all the other mistakes. Okay, let's go through a couple of those seven mistakes just to make sure. And I can't go back to that slide, but, but just stay with me. Okay, I wanna go through some of those so that you see how your belief your faith enters in. Okay. So the first mistake I mentioned was not knowing your numbers. Okay. So if that's a mistake you're making, ask yourself, why, why don't I know my numbers? It's likely because you don't identify as a numbers person. Hey, I'm a people person myself. So that was my belief once upon a time. I don't allow myself to say that anymore. Okay. And if you don't believe you understand numbers, the fact is you won't. But by contrast, if you believe you're good with numbers or you're getting better with numbers every day, you're you're learning, that's your thought, you're gonna be more inclined to look at them and study them and analyze them, okay? But make no mistake, your actions stem from your belief of your thoughts around the numbers. Does that make sense? All right, mistake number two was having too many offers. Hmm, why is that a mistake? And, and why, do you, why is it that you have too many offers? Well, more than likely, it's because you believe that you should or you need to because somebody told you that. You've heard it somewhere, right? 
And a related issue is you might like change your offer all the time. You, you might have one, but you keep changing it up, right? Because it's not selling like you thought. And so rather than examining your marketing or your sales process, you think, eh, I'll be able to sell a better offer, AKA a different offer. Maybe if I lower the price, more people will buy. If you've tried that, tell me your results. I bet I know. Okay, but listen, if you believed that keeping your offers simple, in fact, having one offer, okay, that if you believe that that could get you to your goal, whatever that is, okay, whether that's 100,000, a million, whatever, would you make your life in business more complex? If you believe one would do it, would you make everything more complicated by offering many of them, many different offers, right? So later we're gonna talk more about beliefs, but here I just wanna remind you that in Christ, you are more than a conqueror, hallelujah. And in Christ, again, even the impossible is possible. We say we believe what I just said, right? And we do in the abstract, right? We know nothing's impossible for God, but we forget that just as in the Bible days, God works here on earth through us, through his people, right? So how often do we act like we believe that the impossible is possible for us because of who we are in Christ? How often do we trust God for a mighty movement? Hey, we gotta do our part, but then we're gonna sit in faith and watch him work, right? Okay, so I really want you to think about this. What are you choosing to believe? And for the rest of the day and into the weekend, pay attention to your thoughts. Become aware, aware of what you're thinking. And I want you to realize when a thought pops up, realize it, that that can be either accepted and believed or rejected. It's your choice. Okay, now I want to give you a sneak peek into more of your brain. All right, specifically, I want to show you how our beautiful brains work. The human brain loves something called passive action. And that is action that we take to feel like we've accomplished something, but that action doesn't involve the risk of rejection. Think about it. I see you, okay? I work with, I work with you. You're working hard. You're doing a lot of things. And you're thinking that those actions that you're doing, right, are gonna get you to your goals. But in fact, here's the thing. We've been taught that doing is how we'll get somewhere in life. It's how we'll succeed, right? Hard work, that's what's required to make it, whether in school or corporate or entrepreneurship. And I'm here to tell you that is wrong, plain wrong. And I'm gonna prove it to you with this example. I see a bunch of ladies posting on social across many platforms. They're spending so much time creating content. They're posting even many times a day, and yet they have little engagement. Thanks to the algorithm, fewer and fewer people are seeing their videos, right? And their posts. And very few, if any qualified leads, are really even seeing all of this hard work you're putting in, right? But you put in the time and you feel like you've accomplished something. But this is what I'm talking about, strategic thinking. Are you? Have you accomplished something when you've devoted three hours a day to posting on social? You see, the important thing you need to do every day as a CEO is connect with people, right? Those people that are your ideal clients and potential collaborative partners. And if you are connecting, brava, yay. Let me ask you, are you building relationships? Are you nurturing those connections? And are they generating leads and consults and new business? Look, talking is great, but there must be purpose behind the connecting, right? What's the intention for the nurture? What's the goal of those touch points? Do you have a client journey mapped out that may feel nebulous to you right now, but it's, it's, it's so easy, it's so doable, and it's so important, right? Do you have a client journey mapped out that you follow that leads someone from hello to an invitation to work with you to a client? Or is the connecting that you're doing merely checking a box. You're chatting, you're connecting with people, it's so fun, you're a people person, and you're doing it without a plan and without a follow-up system in place. 
If so, my friends, that's passive action. You see, when you invite someone to work with you and you take that step, that purposeful step, right? That's a risk. You risk rejection. They could say no. And so all too often, we don't make the ask. We play it safe. We take passive action. It feels productive, but it's not. Okay, so here's one thing to do differently as you experience breakthrough. I don't know what's going on with the picture there, but we'll keep going. <laughs> take productive action, action that accomplishes a goal, AKA revenue producing action, like interacting with people following a well thought out strategic plan where every touch point counts. So for example, when you're, when you're showing up in front of your people, your ideal clients, and you want to be strategic about what you say, why you say it, how you say it, and where you are when you say it. Like, are you in front of the right people, right? So you're doing the right things, saying the right things, and thinking the right things. No one talks about this. You can do stuff, you can say stuff, but what are you thinking about as you're doing it, okay? Because the key to any action you take are your thoughts as you're taking the action. Now that sounds strange, it doesn't really make sense. And you're thinking, what does this have to do with anything? I get it because that was me not too long ago. But you see, I teach my clients something that I devised called the faith fueled thought model. This tool is what I used to learn how to manage my thoughts, how to hold every thought captive as unto Christ, as we're commanded to. And this faith fueled thought model has been the difference between multi six figures for me and now approaching seven figures. We're talking exponential growth, ladies, in, in the way of revenue and in my growth as a CEO, not to mention also in my faith, in, in Christ and how he's moving and working, not just in my business, but in my life. I am a completely different person than I was a year ago, completely different. And I'm growing more every day, growing in my faith in Christ and living that faith. I'm seeing more possibilities. These, and see, even impossible possibilities, right? Possibilities that seemed impossible not that long ago. And they were always right there. But God took me on a journey. He was preparing me so that I could be ready in his perfect timing. In fact, it was the Lord God himself who downloaded that tool, the Faith Fueled Thought Model to me. And I wanna share that powerful life and biz changing tool with my clients forever and ever because I want them to experience that. Now, I, I know we're going a little bit long here. I wanna digress to mention something I suspect I'm also gonna talk about during our Q&A portion, and that is marketing and lead gen, okay? I got a lot of responses to my email asking about your biggest challenge, and so many of you said marketing. You asked questions like, which marketing strategy is best? And I want structure around my marketing. I don't know how to get there, and how can I put that into place? Or I'm not techie, and that makes my marketing difficult. Help, right? But for now, I'm gonna say this. I teach my clients joy infused marketing joy it truly is joyful and that's only possible when you approach marketing with the right perspective as to what it really is right marketing is not drudgery unless you think it is marketing is not being pushy unless you think it is right now admittedly this mindset does not come naturally Okay, we have to act supernaturally by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying? Okay, when you look at marketing though, what is it? I, mean, I, want, I want us to be real with this. It's not drudgery, it's not being pushy. What is it? Marketing is opportunity, it is service. It is creating opportunity. It's an invitation for someone for more, right? An invitation to change their life. Oh my goodness, there is nothing more exciting than that. What a blessing it is that you and I have the chance to impact someone's life in that way, right? With your God-given gifts and talents. And so yes, marketing success begins with how you think about it. Your mind, it's your most valuable asset. But more than that, your mind can be a valuable spiritual asset as we hold every thought captive as unto Christ. You know I'm passionate about that one. All right, now we're talking about the brain. So I wanna share with you some mindset shifts that you need to make to get unstuck for where you are right now. First, you gotta embrace who you are in Christ, right? The extraordinary woman that he made you to be. You're an overcomer. More than an overcomer, 
in Christ, right? I mean, I don't really understand what that means, but it's big. It's bigger than I could even fathom, right? And we're more, worth more than rubies. It's about our identity, ladies. And our identity, your identity, is rooted in and founded on Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, hallelujah, and Lord of Lords. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us, empowering us. Are we listening to him? Are we acting as if we are powerful in him, right? Are we, are we acting and thinking and saying and, and doing, believing that in Christ, all things are possible, right? And that leads us to the second thing. In Christ, the impossible is possible. Pursue the impossible. It's what I've done all my life. I came from poor stock, nothing. And look at what I've done. But I'm no, I am no one special. And I know you hear people say that. I'm telling you it's true. My life could have taken a decidedly different turn. But I kept my eyes focused on Christ. That's been the difference, okay? So go to God. Ask him to reveal the impossible things, quote unquote, that you will accomplish. That which he has already planned for you even before he created the earth. Crazy stuff, right? Three, I need you to understand, and your mindset has to be right on this, that failure, quote unquote, is good. And I talked about that a little bit, right, before. When it happens, know that it's a good thing because you're gonna learn from it. That's where it is, right? If we make mistakes and just like, and let it bring us down, that's a problem. If we make mistakes, quote unquote, or fails, uh, but we say, you know what, let me analyze that. What went right? What didn't go so right? And what am I going to do differently? Oh my goodness, you're learning. Every day is learning, right? So let's decide ahead of time what failure means, right? If you don't hit your goal for your launch. If, um, you know, the, the client retention isn't what you thought it would be, right? If you get, don't get as many views on your lives, right? Whatever that fail is. Decide ahead of time what fail means there. And it doesn't mean you're a loser. It doesn't mean you shouldn't do what you're doing. It doesn't mean you should quit, okay? Decide right now that when things don't go your way or as expected, it is a wonderful opportunity for you to learn. And when things do go your way, take the time to identify, hey, what went right? What can I do more of like that, right? And the fourth mindset shift is your success is inevitable. It's a done deal. I want you to know, I want you to say to yourself and believe I always win. Now, why do I say that? It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about self. But here's the fact. Our business is an outreach and is founded on a calling from God. And God is a winner. He never loses, right? And he's called you to business. And so he's promised to equip you. So that means you win because you're one of his. You got me? So don't wonder what if right? Don't question whether God wants you to be in business. If you started a business, if you have clients, and especially if you've already achieved six-figure success, stop doubting yourself. The enemy is throwing his fiery darts at you, putting doubt in your head because he can see you're doing great things for the Lord, okay? No more. Your success is inevitable. Now, the CEO has to have five qualities, and each of these are, you know, they're biblical. It's, it's what we should aspire to be and what we should aspire to embody. The first is commitment. I'm going to be committed to the goal. I'm going to be committed to my calling and my God-given purpose. Second is courage. I'm going to act with courage. I'm going to have fear, but I'm going to take action despite of it because God tells me 365 times in his holy word not to fear, be courageous, right? Be encouraged. So I'm going to choose faith over fear time and time and time again. Sometimes those decisions happen many, many times a day and even many, many times an hour. Decide, I will choose faith. Third quality is discipline. Discipline, oh, I see I misspelled that. Okay, discipline to do, think, right? Fill in the blank. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna think that, even when we don't feel like it. And even when it seems like it's not working, we're gonna be disciplined. Judy says, I've got to work on my mind. I've got to manage my mind. And she says, this is the way to do it through this faith-fueled thought model. Okay, I've got, I've got to run the model. I've got to do this work. I'm disciplined because I'm committed and I'm courageous, right? Next, you've got to have resilience to get back up. Look, the only way you won't fail is if you don't try anything. We've got to get up. Resilience, meaning when something 
bad, quote unquote, happened, something unexpected that we don't like, how long do you ruminate in that, in the woe is me? For me, it's like down to a minute. I wanna get that down to 30 seconds and then finally get rid of it, okay? You can feel the disappointment. I guess, you know, that is something, we're human, so we're gonna feel that, but don't stay there because that one is gonna take you to a bad place. So we're gonna get up, we're gonna be resilient, okay? And the last quality you need is desire. A desire to master, a desire to be great, a desire to succeed, okay? So you wanna break through past 250K towards that seven figure mark. Well, I have great news, ladies. Scaling your business to a million dollars and beyond is as simple as three pillars, three steps. Are you ready? Okay. This is it, the joyful scaling method. Jumpstart, optimize, yield. Okay, so the jumpstart is all about marketing and sales strategy. Optimize is about systems, team, and automation. And yield is about ongoing financial and growth analysis and delivery, looking at client delivery. Okay, if you're not taking these three steps, I can tell you you're working harder than you need to. And hear me again on this, simplify your business you will make more money and have more impact. Now, I wanna briefly go through each pillar. Okay, so the jump start. Here, you're gonna develop your signature high-end offer. We're not doing four $4,000 packages. We're doing $10,000 minimum. And I really work with clients to make more like 25K, 50K, 100K, okay? We're develop that high-end offer. Secondly, we're gonna curate your next level brand and powerful messaging. We're gonna get that all dialed in. And third, we're gonna create demand for your services. Do you know you have the power to do that? Yeah, creating demand. Look, as business owners, as CEOs, we've gotta take 100% responsibility. So we're not gonna blame anybody else. I'm not gonna blame people who don't buy. I'm not gonna blame the, uh, Facebook for changing its nonsense, right? I get to choose. I'm responsible for the growth of this business. And so I, I'm gonna create demand. And I teach my clients how to do that. That's jumpstart. Next, optimize. Again, this is we're talking about systems, team, and automation. So here we're gonna implement key systems, processes, and KPIs so that you can scale. We're gonna hire your dream team, and each member is gonna drive revenue, and we're gonna optimize automation so you can reclaim your time. And finally, the yield. Here we're gonna identify financial metrics to track and schedule that tra for tracking, right? We're gonna assess client results to continually improve client delivery and experience. That's so important, ladies, right? That is your own sales team, clients who love you, who get great results. And finally, in this last step, we're gonna devise a comprehensive strategic goal and goals for your business and objectives so that we can increase profitability. Now, let's take a breath. If any of that sounds hard, and if you wonder, hmm, I'm really not a numbers person. I know Judy said I shouldn't say that, but I can't imagine that I'm gonna know how to analyze numbers to the extent that I need to. But if that's you, let me tell you, I, didn't, I wasn't born a numbers person, but I gotcha. I, I know now, and I wanna help you with it, okay? My genius is in taking the complex and breaking it down to be simple. And one way that I really honed that skill is as a medical malpractice defense attorney, right? I represented OBGYNs. I represented ER physicians. I represented radiologists who uh, were being sued for bad stuff like cancer, like death causing uh, you know, diagnoses and, and conditions and illnesses. And so in order for me to help the judge to understand, and even more important, the jury to understand, I needed to take this complex body of medicine, pour it in my head, look at the facts, look at the records, and say, okay, let's take a 30,000 foot view. What does that jury need to know? What is important? I'm gonna break away all the complex stuff they don't need to know, and I'm gonna simplify. That's exactly what I do. That's my genius in helping my clients scale their business, okay? Keep it simple. Because remember, I don't know if I said this before, but I build sophisticatedly simple businesses. Sophisticatedly simple. Like, like in some case, oh, it's simple. It's a lean and mean team. Don't you want like an empire? Not me. Not at the age of 56. You can have that if you like. 
But what I found is a lot of times, and I in, in my uh, 2022, you know, your million dollar year masterclass that I did back in December, I showed you the numbers. I have I have known people who had like a multi million dollar revenue, and they were lucky to bring home 300. At the same time, I've had clients who brought in just north of 500, uh, closer to six perhaps and they brought in almost 300. So the take home is about the same, but my client's business was a heck of a lot easier to manage, a lot more free time than the one that had the empire. You get to choose, but I'm all about creating sophisticatedly simple businesses. Okay, so we're talking high ticket, high value, high profit, built on a strong and sure foundation. That is Christ at the core. And simplicity is a way of doing everything, right? And all of this leads to, right, simplicity and focus. Ah, simplicity, it's a beautiful thing. Demand for your services. How about this one? Better clients who seek you out, like they're looking for you. You don't have to go DMing people crazy crap. You just put out great content, be who you are. Have great thoughts, grounded in scripture about who you are, your value, your work. Put that out there. And, and, and make sure that your copy and everything you're putting out there is speaking to those clients you want to work with. And I guarantee you're going to get better clients who come to you. It also leads to higher level work. Gosh, I love sophisticated. I love using my brain to help people, right? And it gives you greater impact and revenue and profit and more time freedom. Why? Because the strategy, the systems, and the simplicity is built right in. And look, this is not a dream, ladies. It is not a too good to be true kind of thing. That is what we're creating inside the Joyful Scaling Mastermind. Okay, so again, I want you to use your brain and I want you to think about why. Why would I just laid out for you in those three simple steps to scaling through the Joyful Scaling Method? Why does that work to scale your business and take you as far as you wanna go? Again, I don't want you to just rotely agree with me or I'll just take her word for it or disagree with me and lead the training, right? So stick with me here. Why are these three pillars, joy, jumpstart, optimize, yield? Why is it necessary to get to your goals in a way that feels great, right? And absolutely doable. Well, pillar one, the jumpstart involves strategy and strategy equals efficiency, more done in less time, right? So higher quality action flows from that thinking that you're doing about your actions. And, and look, there is, a, there is an aspect of creative thinking like, oh, what's new? What could I do differently? And then this critical thinking, okay, I'm going to analyze what's been done, what didn't work, what can I do better? Okay, it's so good, right? If this is what CEOs do. It's what you need to do to take your business to that next level. All right, so pillar two, optimize. When you optimize systems, it enables you to leverage everything you're doing, everything your team's doing, right? Every moment and every dollar you're spending. Optimizing includes automation, what can and should be automated and saves time for you and your team, right? And speaking of team, from the get-go, when you do this the way I do it, the way I teach my clients, you get to set up every one of your team members to succeed by making clear what their responsibilities are. Like, you are 100% responsible for this, right? And you establish KPIs so that they know their goals. And those KPIs are designed to drive revenue. I've said that a couple times. But are you thinking in this high-level way? And if not, think about the possibilities of what would be possible when you do, right? All right, finally, yield. You know your numbers and you track them. And this data allows you to make important decisions. Decisions about what, Jude? Decisions about your marketing, right? Your team, your client deliverables, creating the best client experience. And that's just the beginning, okay? So, how you doing? Does this make sense? I don't see the chat, but check in with yourself here. Would you love to simplify your business while making more meaningful impact? Generating higher profit and reclaiming your time. Again, this may sound crazy, like it's not even possible, but I'm here to tell you it is absolutely possible and it's possible for you. My Joyful Scaling Mastermind has two foundational goals. 
Okay. Number one, develop your CEO skill sets. That's what I've been talking about all throughout, right? Thinking at a higher level, approaching team from a profitability standpoint, not viewing team as an expense. If you look at your team as an expense, yikes, okay? You're missing a blessing if that's the way you think, okay? Because not only as another set of capable hands that the team member is, but as a benefit to your clients. Think about that. And, it's a, and every team member is a benefit to your business overall, right? Hold them accountable, manage them well, and they will thrive. And so will your clients as a result. And second foundational goal is we're going to deepen your faith in Christ, right? He is the name above all names. Hallelujah, right? He is the source of all things that matter. Christ is not an add-on, right? He is the very center of it all, life and business. And the only reason you're in business is because he's called you to it. Right? He's got the perfect plan. So yes, I have my joyful scaling methodology and that method is one that he gave to me. But each one of you has a unique journey. And so private individual devotional time with him is not only encouraged in the mastermind, but it's lived out as we come together for a biblical mindset training each and every month, right? Being a stronger believer in Christ will make you a stronger, more effective CEO. Remember your faith, is the number one success metric. And like I said, even for the non-believer, right? So listen, stop doubting your calling. Stop playing small, sister. God has called you to make an important difference. Now the mastermind impacts every part of your life and the lives of those around you, your family, your clients, audiences, talking about major impact. So let's talk about who the mastermind is for. And these are just some of the ladies in my mastermind currently. They came here last month to be with me for an intensive training I'm gonna tell you about in just a moment, but here's the thing. Half my clients are Jesus freaks like me, okay? And if you're one, you know what I mean by Jesus freak, okay? Um, they didn't even know that someone like me existed and they're a committed follower of Christ with all this success and years of experience and expertise, right? Maybe in the C-suite, maybe as a lawyer or a doctor, or entrepreneur, all that, and they're a Christian that holds to biblical teachings as opposed to mere spirituality or worse, putting God in some category with the universe, right? Touting some law of attraction nonsense. Okay, but, but that's half of them. But there's another half of my clients, and we're looking at some of them right here, who really weren't looking for a Christian business coach. It wasn't even on their radar. In fact, while they loved Jesus, maybe they were raised in church, but they didn't really talk about their faith outside of church. But given the world where it is right now and the fact that Christ is our only hope, while they may not have thought about it, you know, how do I inject faith into my business? Once they found me, they're like, ooh, I think that's what I need, right? So here's what I teach my clients inside the Joyful Scaling Mastermind. First, the effortless brand formula. Oh my goodness, God gave me this one as well. I love saying this, got brand. <laughs> so many out there, when they talk about brand, they talk about colors and fonts and, and, and pictures, right? And that's all part of your brand, but they're really only tangential, like offshoot pieces of your brand. The substance of your brand is you. Did you know that? The substance of your brand is you. Even my super expensive coach just yesterday in a training, when she was talking about brand, emphasized the importance of choosing the right color. She said, oh, don't you dare pick a color just because you like it. You got to look at the psychology of colors. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Respectfully, I don't really know what some scientist has to say about the colors I've chosen, that red, the soft blue, the brown, and frankly, I couldn't care less, okay? Brand has everything to do with things like, what do I stand for? What do I refuse to tolerate? What's my genius? What's my gift? What's my expertise? How do I put that out there with my clients? How do I work with them? How is what I do different and better than other business coaches out there? That, my friends, is brand. And I've created a truly effortless formula for curating your standout brand. You're gonna love it. Okay, so joy-infused marketing. This is you being you, your standout brand, right? Um, I do not ascribe to one marketing strategy. Like my coach, the expensive coach I told you about last week in Thriver Thursday, she puts you to one. Do it my way or good luck, right? Oh no, I teach them all. Because <laughs> what works for you may not work for 
the, the sister next to you, right? Because it's all about your unique gifting. Maybe something else is better for you. No other business coach that I'm aware of offers this comprehensive approach to marketing, right? I'm here to support you uniquely. And that's why even though the container is a group, it is intentionally kept small, never more than 20 ladies, so that each of you gets individualized attention directly from me, not just a team member, okay? You and I have a monthly one-on-one -on -one strategy session. It is the perfect avenue for that personal customized support that you will get, that'll get you unstuck from the big things and the little things, right? And we get through it with joy and having fun. In fact, by the grace of God, I've devised a system for creating a lifetime of content in about an hour. Kid you not. I gotta say that again. We're talking about marketing here, ladies. And a couple of you I asked the question, I never know what to say. I hate marketing. I hate posting. I don't know what to say, blah, blah, right? Let me tell you something. Join the mastermind. And when you answer some questions and go through the way I do it, you can, you can create a lifetime of marketing in about an hour. You see, when you simplify your business, focusing on one, maybe two, no more than that, offers, right? And you have your own unique and proprietary methodology and philosophy around your work, your content creation becomes a breeze. Totally doable. Don't believe the hype, sisters, okay? Being visible and consistently showing up does not have to be hard. I firmly believe that it can be fun and it should be fun, okay? It is fun for me. And as I'm teaching my clients, it's becoming more and more fun for them. You just need that right strategy and mindset. Remember I told you, strategy, mindset to make it happen. Okay, next, creating demand. Did you know that you can create demand for your services? It's true. And inside the mastermind, I teach you how to do that. Yes, sister, you can do it. Next, my sell to serve approach to sales. We're talking about authentic, feel good selling. Never pushy. Selling's actually a noble endeavor when your mindset and your strategy are properly aligned with the right goal, okay? By the way, the gurus and most business coaches get this piece dead wrong. They say the goal of setting is to convince, to get the yes. I take a different approach, one that feels good and in keeping with respecting others and loving them through serving them. Awesome, just, ah, Jesus, thank you, God. Next, strategic thinking, both front end, like marketing and sales and evaluating opportunities that come your way, and the back end, like analyzing numbers, setting goals, and more, okay? I already talked about the faith-fueled thought model. We're gonna to learn to manage your mind. You're gonna to learn to direct your thoughts in a way that pleases the Lord. This is life-changing. And finally, servant leadership. We're talking about powerful decision-making, negotiation, managing your team, uh, really stepping out as a thought leader in your industry. And so here are the results that come from being a part of the mastermind, right? You're gonna have a well thought out strategic plan. You're gonna have everything dialed in from marketing strategy to sales strategy to brand that's, that's developed and uniquely yours. You're gonna have a fresh perspective on sales. Dare I say, you will love sales. Realizing that selling is necessary in order to serve. You've got to sell to serve, okay? It's truly inviting someone to better their life. A client can't work with you if they're not sold on you. I mean, that's the reality, ladies, right? And the results keep coming. Your systems and processes optimized. You'll have an organizational chart, mapping out your team with roles and responsibilities, and your automations will be in place. And yet there's more. You're gonna be comfortable talking about your numbers and tracking them. You'll know what to track and how to track and how to analyze the data to make improvements. And all of these results flow from your faith. Think about it your thoughts, your beliefs, grounded in your faith, living your faith, fully embracing who God made you to be, surrendering your fears, doubts, and insecurities so that you can step fully into your role as a CEO. Your business will be so much more valuable with your methodology and your philosophy, your valuable intellectual property, right? Your system's in order so you can easily hand things off to people and track relevant information right? All of which, by the way, will make your business more saleable down the road, if you like that. 
And with these systems and strategies in place, time will open up for you to do what you really want to do. Spend time with family, friends, take extended vacation with the hubby, explore more business opportunities, right? Investing in others and that kind of thing. The sky is the limit. And the choice is yours, right? Inside the mastermind, it's not at all uncommon, I'm gonna show you in a second, to have 20,000, 30,000, even $80,000 months. It's happened. Now remember, we're building a sophisticatedly simple business that's high ticket, highly profitable. So are you excited about all the possibilities for your business? Okay, well that's the class. So I'm gonna tell you about the Joyful Scaling Mastermind for those of you who love the idea of a Christ-centered container to scale your business, and then I'm gonna answer your questions. And I'm gonna stay on as long as I can. I see um, you know, the questions uh, that I already have coming into this, and I know there were some that popped up here even as we're together. So, starting today, we are accepting applications into the mastermind. It is the, truly the ultimate mastermind experience for faith-fueled ladies like you, right? So the Joyful Scaling Mastermind is different than anything, anything you've ever been introduced to before because Jesus, right? Uh, I've never been involved in anything where Jesus was not just thrown in a Bible verse here and there. I've seen that a lot, but, but, but he is a part of every training I do. He's a part of every, everything I do. Okay, and if that sounds exciting to you, as you really step out in faith in a powerful way and say, no more playing small, I invite you to apply and I'll drop the link in just a moment. But you're also gonna get critical thinking to emphasize developing your CEO skills. And we're gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna provide the tools for you, the strategies and the resources for you to do that, to equip you to learn to make powerful decisions on your own. This is the only mastermind in the entire industry that combines super high level strategy with a decidedly unapologetic focus on Christ. Now, one of the things I see out there is coaches, they say, come work with me, right? But the coach is kind of sparse once you're inside. It's ridiculous. You're never going to have that with me, okay? When you invest in me, you get me. And uh, I want to talk about that in just a moment. So here, here's what you get inside as I teach you all these amazing CEO skill sets with a Jesus focus, okay? You're going to get... Um, exclusive, obviously it's a year long mastermind and mentorship. We're very close. We're going to meet regularly, weekly, and uh, some weeks more than that when we have your one-on-ones, which I'll get to in a second, but it is high level, exclusive, very tight container. We have live weekly high level business trainings. This is the first year of the mastermind. And so when you, if you were to enter now, you would be a charter member, which gives you some great perks, not the least of which is you're helping me build this out. And, uh, you know, I like to say you're kind of my guinea pigs in that, but you get a significant price break. So it's a beautiful win-win for everybody, right? And um, these are trainings you're not going to see anywhere else. You see, I'm setting a new standard for Christian women in business, okay? The gold standard of excellence. There are other Christian business coaches out there, but none with my real world entrepreneurial C-suite level corporate and legal education experience and background. And none are empowering boldness and courage to the extent that I do. Masterminders are not look, these masterminders with me, they're not looking for just a little bit of success, okay? They've got big dreams and they know they're on mission to do the Lord's work. So inside my mastermind, the goals are high, but you know what? Our expectations are even higher. My clients are pursuing the impossible and achieving more than they could have imagined. All right, monthly one-on-ones with me and ongoing personal access. I'll talk in a minute about the private Facebook community where I am I'm there daily providing ongoing support, but I literally pour into my clients, okay, on the regular. And that includes every month, one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions, you and me. That is unheard of in this industry and absolutely at this price point, right? Even within masterminds. The idea of a mastermind is the group provides the ideas and the support one for the other and the lead person is just the facilitator. And that, that collaboration happens here in my Joyful Scaling Mastermind, but what's missing in all these other masterminds is that private personal access to my brain, to the lead coach. And I believe that that touch and support can make the biggest difference to going from six or multi six figures towards that seven figure mark. Someone who's been there, done that, is available. I didn't have that 
and I wished I would have. And that's why I included one-on-ones in my mastermind. And next, master trainings by industry experts. I know business, but I'm not an expert in everything. So I bring in experts for supplemental trainings. As an example, I'm bringing in a time and productivity expert because she takes what everybody's putting out there and turns it on its head and it's just amazing. So I'm bringing her in. Next, you get a ticket to two in-person incentives, one in the spring, one in the fall. The spring we just had, it's a multi-day intensive. This year you came to me in Charleston and it was a marketing and sales intensive. I produced a workbook, which is over hundred pages. If you jump in and you're accepted into the mastermind, you will have access to all of those trainings and to the workbook. It, we had a fun excursion and it was just bonding that really happened in a live event that could never happen via Zoom, okay? The fall event, oh my gosh, that's the pampering one. It happens at my favorite place on the earth, Rosemary Beach. You're gonna leave with valuable marketing assets. I'm bringing in a photographer and a hairdresser and a makeup artist so that we can all look super pretty. And you're gonna have, besides your headshot, a brand new you know, headshot for you, you're gonna have access to raw video footage as well. So that's gonna also boost your content, right? And there's also going to be a masseuse coming in. It's a pampering time right steps from the beach. It's going to be amazing. We have monthly copy training and critique sessions with an experienced copywriter expert who's been involved in countless multi six and seven figure launches. She teaches persuasive copy and she critiques yours, right? Customized accountability. We have milestones set up and we track everything you accomplish and we give you support to keep you moving forward. And finally, the private community for support and networking. Our Facebook community is very active and engaging. The page is an additional resource for everyone, right? One of the things my clients appreciate most is the level of detailed feedback. I really want you to hear this. Uh, when they submit something, whether it is copy to be looked at, whether it is a script of some sort, if it's a video, hey, I wanna put this out there, what do you think? Or this is my launch uh, schedule, this is my strategy for the launch coming up, whatever. A lot of times I've, I've never seen anything other than what I do, or rather I've never seen anything like what I do and here's what it is. You submit it and I go to work. I prepare a video detailed feedback on thoughts of improving and questions that maybe I, I think, oh, did you think about this and what about that? We're talking like a 10, 15, sometimes 20 minute detailed video feedback that never happens anywhere else, ever. You know that, that really expensive coach that I told you about last week? Well, I submitted something this week and uh, I'm nearing the end of my year. And her response, and this isn't uncommon, but her response was, looks good. That's it? looks good. Wow. That would never happen with me. Okay. You see, I created this mastermind based on what I wish I had. I spent a couple of hundred grand now, probably close to 250, 270 at this point, maybe closer to 300. What I have inside here doesn't exist anywhere else, period. Okay. This joyful scaling mastermind is like high touch and high level on steroids. Okay. It is literally everything you need. To, grow, to go from a six-figure or multi-six-figure business owner to a true seven-figure CEO and industry thought leader, right? And inside here, it's not at all uncommon to have people have $20,000, $30,000, even $50,000 and more months, and those numbers just keep rising. So ladies, this mastermind is for you if you're ready to up-level and step fully into your CEO role. You're committed to going all in on your business and you are willing to stretch yourself. You're excited to learn how to think high level and strategize like an 8500 CEO. You wanna leverage your time. You wanna get the systems and processes in place. You wanna build your dream team. You seek to fully live out your faith prioritizing God above all, and you believe that I have the experience and the dedication to you to guide you to a place of excellence. There's never been a better time to join. There is the link, right? Bit.ly slash joyful scaling consult. Uh, you know, the capital letters, it matters, okay? Now, this is powerful, ladies, okay? I would love to invite you to apply. The link is there on the screen. When you do, you're gonna choose a convenient day and time for you and me to meet, it's you and me, not a team member, you and I are gonna meet for a scaling strategy call. And then you'll be forwarded to a questionnaire that will ensure that our time together is gonna to be really productive. On the call, we're gonna talk about what's working and what's not working in your business. We're gonna talk strategy, and I'm gonna give you a roadmap on getting where you wanna go. And then you're gonna 
you know, I'll tell you more about the mastermind if I think there's a fit and answer your questions. And if at the end of the day, I think you're, you're someone that would come in and do a great job and that there is a fit, you will be invited inside. Now, I wanna be upfront about something. This is not for everybody. In the past four months, I have turned away six ladies because I felt they weren't ready. I applaud them for applying and I've encouraged them to come back when they've accomplished certain things or reached certain levels that I've told them. But as I said, this mastermind container is reserved to the cream of the crop, only the most committed, those on fire for the Lord and on mission to serve in a big way in their business. So here's what I know. If that exclusivity and that high level gets you excited, then this mastermind is for you. Now, if that, if that exclusivity kind of freaks you out and leads all kind of negative thoughts to come out of your brain, well, maybe you're not ready yet. But if you love a challenge and you consistently rise to meet it and you want a sophisticatedly simple business, one where you have a high profit and your overhead is low, one where you put systems in place, you got the right people so you can get more time back, I encourage you to apply because our charter round begins next month. You're gonna join our founder round clients and instantly find new biz besties, sisters who are gonna support you and share ideas and resources with. The power of sisterhood and community inside the mastermind is like nowhere else. The spirit is moving and it's powerful. And because it's our first year inside the mastermind, those who join in the charter round are gonna have the opportunity to do so at the best price point ever. You see the uh, link there to apply. And the results speak for themselves, okay? Monthly, we ask our clients to check in with their revenue. Uh, we see many $30,000, um, one in the 80s, and Emma, she, in the first quarter, made almost half of what she earned in all of 2021. I mean, that's the kind of results. So I'm gonna go through these quickly. Judy literally changed my life. I'm a different person. I was able to 6X my business. Judy's got the know-how. She's personally invested in her client's success. Her dedication is unmatched. I'm eternally grateful to have found her. So listen, if you are excited about this, if this intrigues you, take that first step and apply for a scaling strategy session, okay? Once again, we don't accept everybody. Our goal is to create success stories. So we're looking for women committed to success. So I have those incredible case studies to put out there and inspire more Christian women to go big. Remember my mission, right? up level the way Christian women do business. But if that is you, please do go ahead and apply. Let us know when you do here in the chat, okay? Now, let's see. I wanna see how I can get into the chat. Okay, do I have to come? I think I have to come out of the share. Okay, Q&A, Q&A. Okay, just give me one moment, ladies. Uh, Nicole had said, you're spot on with the current results. Oh, okay, from working with, together, right? And Danielle, Judy has made marketing so simple, seriously. Completely takes the overwhelm out of content. Thank you, Danielle. That is Danielle who is in the mastermind. She's a beautiful, beautiful lady. Okay, so let me go over to my notes here and look at some of the questions that had come in beforehand as well. All right, so. Here's a question, and I kind of addressed this before. I want to make sure I answered it fully. How can I do marketing in a way that works? I want structure and a system that allows me to work smarter, not harder. What is the best way to do that? Now, again, unlike almost anybody else out there, I don't teach just one marketing strategy. Like, I think that's crazy. I think marketing is, unique, is as unique as the person, like your thumbprint. So even if you would choose to do YouTube, your YouTube channel will be very different than anybody else's. And your content's gonna be different, right? Same with podcasting, right? Real estate brokers and agents, I work with a lot of them, right? Farming, I have a very different way of approaching farming, right? So when I talk about marketing, here's what I'll say. With me, especially inside this mastermind, you are going to get personalized, customized attention. Like I said, one-on-ones monthly. Okay, delivered in a group container. This is like, this is like unheard of. Usually at a group thing, you, you, your access to the head person is like in your dreams really. <laughs> or like maybe on a once a month group thing where there are hundreds there and you're all vying for her attention, right? And Priscilla just said, I learned it's okay to be me. The way God designed me to be, it's great. 
Yeah, nothing's gone wrong. I love it. I love it. Now, another thing, our Facebook community is a really tr truly valuable asset. And so not only will you get that detailed feedback with me, with those video, uh, the video feedback, but also the other ladies inside are so supportive. And Priscilla, Danielle, Nicole, they all know um, that, you know, they post something. Hey, ladies, what do you think about this? I updated this page on my website. What do you think? And so it's really, it's really exciting. And when we interact with each other, it truly helps to like spur you on for better and for more, right? But here's the deal. The reason I do these detailed video feedbacks, feedback video, I guess, is that I never want you to be stuck. Like I don't want you to have to wait till next week, okay? Within 48 business hours or less, I'm there for you, right? And that's just not done. But it should be, right? So I'm changing things. It's because I do business differently. I put my heart and my time and my money where my mouth is. And I'm going to tell you, if you jump into this mastermind, you're going to be transformed during this 12 months. And I mean it. And that's why I show up for you daily to make sure that happens. It's like you have my brain in your back pocket. And that's crazy good. Because look, as a lawyer, and again, when I think about, you know, you know every time I used to walk into the courthouse, I would look up. And I would say, Lord God, I can't believe this. I'm a lawyer. Do you remember where I came from? I'm getting emotional right now thinking about it. Like, it's crazy that I'm a lawyer. <laughs> it's crazy that I've had this success. But as a lawyer, it's great to have a lawyer on your side, right? I'm not, I'm not lawyering you, but you have my brain. And as a lawyer, I have unique insight that you simply can't find in another business coach at any price point, right? So like, I'm not going to tell you what to do in a contract, but I'll review it and I'll point out some things as I then direct you to a local lawyer who specializes in whatever that contract's about, right? So it's really important. So in the way of marketing, I will tell you this, as unique as you are, that's what we're going to draw out. And it's that uniqueness that we're going to put out there. It's going to make you stand out. That's going to create demand for you. That's going to get people reaching out to you for consults. And as we, as we learn how to approach selling in a way that feels good, right? Knowing that we have to sell to serve and we're going to do it in a godly way, in a way that's not pushy at all. Um, you're going to get, you're going to get more clients. You're going to build more confidence, but more than that, more than any of that, you're going to grow in your faith, which is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And all of that is included when you get accepted into the joyful scaling mastermind. And last thing I thought about this mastermind, how to make it the most successful for clients, like truly scaling. And it's the joy of the Lord. Like the joy of the Lord is our strength, right? The women inside the mastermind, as I've said, have had success. You saw the numbers, right? They've surpassed six figures and, and multi six figures in many of them. And what I found is that at, at any level, sometimes it's just like a tweak that can make a ginormous difference. Like one new or different aspect to your brand could literally open the floodgates to more business. Like you might be sitting on the precipice of that impossible dream right now, right? You might be changing inside the mastermind how you do marketing and, and even if just slightly, but that can make a huge difference between generating five quality leads a week or maybe 20 or even 50, right? And my goal with all my clients is exponential growth. I'm not talking about baby steps here, right? I'm talking about growth in a big way, right? Which in turn, you know, everything feeds off the other and it's like compounding. So as you learn how to manage your mind and direct your thoughts, that's going, and, 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 and when you do that based upon who you know God to be, and at the same time, you're working on who you are in Christ, and you're spending more time with him and you're spending more time in his word. And as we come together, we're sharing those aha moments and breakthroughs that we've had all throughout the week and all throughout the month. I mean, it's amazing, good stuff. It makes us more courageous. When you see one lady do amazing things, you're like, okay, I can do this, right? And there's no jealousy because we've learned to manage our minds. We are taking responsibility for our business and we are growing it like leaps and bounds, right? Now, if, if, as I said before, finding that uniqueness about you 
and creating a brand around it, right? The effortless brand formula I told you about. If that sounds like a tall order, don't worry. I gotcha. That's my genius. Like, I love that. And the ladies here, they know that because they've worked with me. They've seen it, right? Finding the diamond in the rough. The diamond in your story, in your work, that you just can't see because you're too in the weeds. But I see it because I'm pulling up. I'm analyzing. Tell me what you did. Tell me what your education is. Tell me how you work with your clients. All of a sudden, bing, 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 all these things go off in my mind. And then I tell the woman, okay, well, did you ever think about this? I said, that's genius. They're like, what, really? Yeah. So I love it. I love what I do. And I think you can hear my passion in my voice, right? The coaching that happens inside. Let me take a moment about this. There is strategy and there's coaching. Each is important, right? So, so the strategy is the thinking, right? And, and then the coaching is the mindset in order to strategize most effectively. And so that's where the faith-fueled business model or rather thought model comes in, in that if, if you are believing wrong things, if a thought comes into your mind and that is where you're focused, you're gonna go down a rabbit hole. That's gonna take you nowhere good. So, so, so what we do inside the mastermind is we do equal parts strategy and mindset so that you can move forward past places like in the first month you're gonna you're gonna feel different you're gonna start thinking different you're gonna do different and you're gonna start to get different results and you're gonna feel yourself be empowered as a CEO more and more you know you may have seen a video that I put out earlier this week with my clients that were here with me last month and and you know one of the women one of the women said oh my gosh like 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 Judy is teaching me how to think like a CEO, and she's all of 25, Emma, she's a doll. And she said, you know, it's great to know that Judy is there, and I love that, and this is, this is already an amazing year. She's in month four of the program of the Mastermind, and she's like, this is so good. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. But she said, what I love about it is that Judy is teaching us how to think. She's always pointing us back so that we don't have to be dependent on her. I don't want you to be dependent on me. I want to give you the tools, I want to give you the way to think, I want to give you the strategies, and I want to give you the, the beautiful foundation of Christ in business so that you can take it and build your legacy and create that sophisticatedly simple business. Or if you prefer to build an empire, now you've got the tools to do it. So how are we doing, ladies? If you are you know, thinking, gosh, this mastermind sounds amazing, please do apply. An email is going to be sending to your inbox momentarily, and I invite you to click the link. I will be opening this up to the public next week. And when that happens, you know, here's the deal. I'm going to be taking the applications on a first come first served basis. So the sooner you apply, there's no obligation to do it, but it certainly puts you in line sooner before the world. Right. And so I would love to read your application and spend some time with you strategizing on your business. All right, ladies, I'm not seeing any other questions. So again, thank you so much for spending time with me. I look so forward to spending that time with you during your strategy call as a precursor to the mastermind. I love connecting with you. I, that's my favorite thing to do all day long. I'm a people person. I love spending time with ladies of the Lord. And so uh, I look forward to your application. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you have any questions, reach out. I can be available at Judy Weber Co. everywhere on every social platform. And listen, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. God bless. And I look so forward to seeing you inside the mastermind.